All proteins and all cellular organisms arise through the process known as translation. Ribosomes, massive molecular machines, convert excerpts of the genetic code into peptide chains. These peptide chains are subsequently folded into functionally active proteins responsible for executing a wide array of tasks. Translation is broken up into three stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. mRNA, or messenger RNA, is a strand of ribonucleic acid that carries genetic information gathered from a portion of an organism's DNA. This short message must be translated into a functional product, a folded polypeptide, or protein, which is a sequence of amino acids. Each triplet of nucleotides on the mRNA, or codon, encodes for one amino acid. tRNAs are the message decoders in that they have an anticodon that fits with the mRNA's codon on one end and the corresponding amino acid on the other. In order for protein synthesis to begin, the ribosome must be oriented with both the tRNA and the mRNA in the correct reading frame. Initiation factors 1 and 3 bind to the small ribosomal subunit, breaking apart the whole ribosome to allow the mRNA to enter. The opening of the ribosome exposes a certain sequence that attracts the mRNA. Initiation factor 2 binds GTP, allowing it to recruit the initiator tRNA. The hydrolysis of GTP bound to IF2 leads to the release of the initiation factors and the reassociation of the 50S with the 30S subunit. The result is a 70S initiation complex. The first step of elongation begins with the insertion of a charged tRNA into the empty A site on the ribosome, delivered by elongation factor TU. After the correct charged tRNA has been placed in the A site, the amino acid is transferred from the tRNA in the P site to the tRNA in the A site, catalyzed by the ribosome's RNA. Now, both the A and P sites are occupied by tRNAs. To allow new tRNAs to enter the A site, the ribosome must translocate. Translocation is mediated by elongation factor G. Upon binding, EFG undergoes a conformational change that forces its arm deeper into the A site on the small subunit. As EFG pushes the tRNA at the A site to the P site, the tRNA that has just lost its amino acid must move out of the P site into the E site. This dissociation of EFG leaves the A site ready to accept the next charged tRNA. This process causes deformations in the subunits, which result in an observed ratchet-like motion of the ribosome. As the amino acid sequence or polypeptide grows with each elongation cycle, the nascent chain begins its descent out of the ribosome via a water-filled channel in the large subunit, known as the exit tunnel. This structure provides passage through which a polypeptide chain can slide unhindered. The dimensions of the tunnel suggest that nascent proteins are largely unstructured as they pass through the ribosome. However, some regions of the peptide can form alpha helices before exiting the tunnel. The synthesis of most protein molecules takes between 20 seconds and several minutes. To further increase efficiency and speed of protein synthesis, multiple ribosomes may be initiated sequentially onto the mRNA strand being translated. As soon as the preceding ribosome has translated enough of the nucleotide sequence to move out of the way, another ribosome may be initiated on the mRNA. The collective structure of an mRNA and its attached ribosomes is called a polysome. The end of protein synthesis, or termination, is signaled by a stop codon on the mRNA. This codon does not code for an amino acid. Rather, release factors 1 or 2, proteins that mimic tRNAs, recognize the stop codon and bind to the ribosome at the A site. These release factors fit into the ribosome like tRNA, but carry a water molecule in place of an amino acid. Disguised as a charged tRNA and assisted by the ribosome, the release factors induce breakage of the bond between the p-site tRNA and its attached sequence of amino acids, releasing the newly synthesized polypeptide. As it leaves the ribosome, the polypeptide must fold into its proper three-dimensional structure in order to become a fully functional protein. <laughs>